Under the next-gen system, you'll need a way to transmit your position to ADSB ground stations and other aircraft. One option is by using an extended squitter, or ES transponder. All aircraft can be ADSB compliant by using a Mode S ES transponder, but those that fly in Class A airspace above 18,000 feet or outside of the U.S. will be required to use an ES transponder as their ADSB solution. If you fly at lower altitudes and only within the U.S., you can keep your existing Mode C or Mode S transponder and install a Universal Access Transceiver, or UAT, to complement it. The UAT path uses the 978 MHz frequency and allows for two-way communication. You can send your ADSB out position information while simultaneously receiving data link traffic and subscription-free weather. By comparison, the 1090 ES option may mean you need to install less hardware, but you might have ADSB in limitations. For example, Subscription-free weather is not available over 1090 ES. However, you can install a UAT alongside your ES transponder to get the full range of ADSB in benefits. <laughs>